Now, how could we produce the sound? Or how could we make the sound to travel from one part of the region to the another part of the region? See the board. Say, this is some medium. Take, this is air medium. And you have produced a sound. Say, this is the horn. It's a horn. And sound is produced. The sound is produced. When the sound is produced through horn, the sound moves in all the directions. Take one direction. When the sound moves in the straight directions, it has to pass through air medium so that there will be a receiver who receives the sound. Now, when the sound wants to move from one part of the region to the other part of the region, then what happens? This air consists of air particles. Then what happens? When the sound is produced, is apply some pressure on the air particles. And this pressure applies some force on the particles. Then this particle starts vibrating. It starts vibrating from their position. They, move, they, will, they will do to and fro motion, just like a simple pendulum. Like how the simple pendulum moves from mean to extreme positions. Similarly, the air particles also do to and fro motion. We say vibrations. So these vibrations carried from one particle to another particle, other particle to another particle, like this carried till to the end of the medium. Then the receiver, say the receiver is a person. Then this sound goes to the ears of the person. And then in, in the ears, you have ear drum. The ear drum starts vibrating. And because of the vibration of the eardrum, the message goes to your brain and then you understand that some sound is coming to your ears. This is how the sound is produced. And here, when I said that, the sound is traveling through the medium. The particles are vibrating. When the particles are vibrating, actually they are carry, carrying the energy from one particle to another particle, and another particle, and another particle. So, particles are vibrating is nothing but they are carrying the energy from one place to another place. And so, once again we conclude that sound is an energy form. Now, how could you show the sound energy in pictorial way? Scientists were, scientists were thought so much about to represent the energies in a pictorial way. And they have got a solution for that. And that solution is sinusoidal forms. So they have shown all different types of energies in sinusoidal forms. Sound energy also they have shown in the form of sinusoidal. What is sinusoidal form means? See the boat? Like this. This is called sinusoidal form. And this is also called wave. So the wave is the energy representation. Wave is the energy representation. You have another meaning of wave in physics we discuss. We will use to we used to say in physics department. Wave is nothing but a disturbance created in the region. Yes, suppose think that you brought a scent bottle in a closed room and you just open the cap of the scent bottle. Then what happens? Within seconds, the scent is spread is in every corner of the room. That means the scent creates some disturbance in the room so that you can smell the scent. Similarly, wave is also like that. Wave is the disturbance created in the region. Now, you are listening what I am teaching here. Now, if you increase the sound, so my what I am teaching here that can be heard by each and every corner of your room. Nothing but the sound is spreading each and every corner. As the sound is spreading each and every corner of your room, you can say that sound is a wave also. And that wave we represent the form of a sinusoidal. 